Thank you for watching our film on the preserved Bible. The most important question you could ever be asked is if you were to die today, are you 100% sure that you would go to heaven? The Bible gives a clear answer that you can know 100% sure. The Bible tells us that we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. The Bible also teaches that there's a punishment for our sin. In Romans 6.23, the Bible says, for the wages of sin is death. That death is not just physical, but it's also spiritual. And it means that when people die, they could go to one of two places, heaven or hell. The Bible tells us that we actually all deserve to go to hell. The Bible says that all liars shall have their part in the lake, which burneth with fire and brimstone. Everyone can admit that they've told at least one lie. And in fact, we've sinned in many different ways if we look at all of the scripture. Therefore, it's important to realize we need a savior. And the Bible tells us that God loves us and wants us to be saved. The Bible tells us in Romans 5, 8, but God commended his love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. God sacrificially sent his son, Jesus Christ, to this earth to take the penalty and punishment that we deserve. The Bible tells us that Jesus Christ is the son of God and that he came down from heaven, was born of a virgin, and became a man. Jesus Christ was God manifest in the flesh. And while he lived on this earth, he did many miracles proving he was the Son of God. However, the Jews did not believe that Jesus Christ was the Son of God, and they ultimately delivered him to the Romans to be crucified. The Bible says when Jesus Christ was crucified, he bare our sins in his own body on the tree. And the Bible makes it very clear that Jesus Christ was the propitiation for our sins. He paid for all sin, past, present, and future. When Jesus Christ was dead, they put his body in a tomb, but his soul descended down into hell. But it was not left in hell, neither did his body see corruption. The Bible tells us that his soul returned to his body, and he rose from the dead. He walked out of the tomb, and the Bible describes this as the gospel the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Therefore, the question is, what must I do to be saved? Well, in Acts chapter 16, there's a man that asked that question. He asked Paul and Silas, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. The Bible makes it clear the only thing necessary for salvation is to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, what that means is ultimately that you're putting all of your trust that Jesus Christ's death, burial, and resurrection paid for all of your sins. Many people today are unfortunately trusting in their good works. They're trusting the fact that they go to church, that they've turned over a new leaf, that they live a good life. But the Bible makes it abundantly clear that you must take the trust that you have in yourself and your religion and your church attendance and the changed life that you have and put all of your faith in what Jesus Christ already did for you. That is what true salvation is. Simply acknowledging Jesus is real or believing in faith plus your good works will not result in salvation. You must change your mind and put 100% faith in Christ. The Bible tells us in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The moment one trusts Christ, they become a child of God and they're given eternal life. The Bible says, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even of them that believe on his name. Salvation is a moment in time just like birth. And once you become someone's child, you're forever their child. Once you become God's son, you're forever his son. The moment someone trusts Christ and puts 100% of their faith in Jesus Christ's death, burial, and resurrection, they are forever his son. And no matter how good or bad a son they are, they will never go to hell because they've been saved from all of their sins. Whereas many people still believe in the fact that they must be a good person, go to church, and follow all of God's commandments to be saved, they're ultimately not trusting in Christ's sacrifice. They're trusting in themselves. The Bible tells us in Ephesians 2, 8, 9, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. If we're trusting in ourselves, we're not saved. We must one time humbly accept Christ's free gift and put all of our faith in Jesus Christ. That is the moment of salvation. The Bible says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
If you see clearly how the Bible tells us that salvation is a free gift, that is just by faith in Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us how to believe in Him. In Romans 10, 9 and 10, the Bible says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. If you actually have changed your mind today, and you want to put 100% faith in Jesus Christ, not in your good works, not in your good efforts, let me help you word a simple prayer and tell Christ that you're trusting in Him alone and accept this free gift. Pray this prayer wherever you're at. Dear Heavenly Father, I know that I'm a sinner and I deserve to go to hell. But I believe that you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for all my sins. He was buried and rose again. Please save me and give me eternal life. I'm only trusting in Jesus Christ, not myself. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. If you meant that prayer in your heart and you put 100% of your faith in Jesus Christ, the Bible says you can know that you're saved. If you got saved today, or even if you've already been saved, you need to get plugged into a Bible-believing church which uses the King James Bible, the preserved Bible, and you need to read it every single day.